Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the 13th session of the HRSD series and today we'll talk about the configuration. So this is a very minor things but uh, it can help you to for the lot of uh, development time. Okay, so let's understand what, what does it mean by that. So in this HR services, if you see here, our COE is the HR total rewards and then we selected the open for all approval view and subject person or task as any view was blank somehow right it was mandatory field but there is no uh, value and it was blank okay so if i open this uh, this record these have also one field which is called coe and this is the hr code case which is not matches in our coe right so let's open this configuration uh, table and we are going to create one configuration for our case okay so I'll go here and this HR, I'll go back to that HS services again and I'll create one more configuration here um, in the next tab. In this tab you can see there are four configuration is already there and these four configuration are actually in the core case table. I mean core case table. Our case it's a completely different. It's a um, uh, coming from the total rewards. So we'll select that table equal to HR total rewards. Okay. And here we will say that total uh, uh, gift card issue or something like that. Gift card uh, total rewards. Okay. And save that. We have a custom uh, custom title. You can uncheck that and you can add. Uh, basically, we have a three tabs. And what these three tabs help you one by one, I'll tell you that. So whenever you open, whenever you order a, uh, a catalog item or HR catalog item, last time you see that you will have in the top called title row. And this title row is nothing but this title row will come from here. Okay. So if you want to put any custom title, you can put the custom title. Otherwise, you can select couple of fields from there. You can get that. So our case, let's say that we will say HR service, and then we'll select the short description from there. So let's come from here only uh, short description and then we will add that open uh, open for open for and then we'll say the name here. Okay, so these are the fields we are going to add that uh, in this case. So we'll just save that. Next you will see the person row and then details row. We'll talk about this one by one. So in the person row, we have a total six option and the details row, we have also the six option. So we can show you the six details and then person row, we will, can show you the six details. What is the person row? From the person row is nothing but it, after you raise the request, there will be one field call. Uh, there will be some pictures. Okay. So this is the person row. And then bottom, there will be one details row that is coming from the details row. So we have total three uh, tabs and three tabs have a, you can see highlighted in a different, different uh, purpose they are going to be used. So our person row, we will select that um, here, open for. Okay. And here, uh, that's it. We are not going to show that it, nothing else. In the details row, will show you that, uh, I mean, show the details description maybe. So we'll uh, select the descriptions here. Okay, so we'll select the description here. And uh, I guess we have uh, two type of uh, two type of descriptions. I'll select as only description and save that. Okay, so these things are done. Now, if I go back to that uh, open for here, I'll select this one. And here also the same thing. Okay, and save that. So these two, uh, these two can, these two uh, can be same, and it is pointing to the same table. Uh, one for open, open for person or approval. Another for the task assignment and subject person. You understand that? What does it mean by that? So whoever will be open the portal based on their um, uh, user, uh, what is the user? It will be show if you want to show different different view you can show the different view okay now let's order this um one of this hr catalog and see how it will be looks like that so in this guy uh, hr esc portal if you see our catalog item was available under these benefits and gift card i am going to raise a request for uh, paste details 
and save that. And some reason it is showing the sorry, either the data does not exist or you don't have access. Uh, so the reason behind that we have added the uh, HR criteria is the department equal to IT. I guess I don't have that department. I'll remove the HR criteria and simply refresh that. I'll submit one more time. Here we go. Now you can see here, we can see this is the options that we are talking about. The first option is coming from the title and this title is nothing but uh, here we have a short description and then open for name. So this is my name and the short description. And this is nothing but um, I guess uh, coming from here all uh, we have a open for showing the, the image is showing for the open for image. And then last it is not showing the uh, det uh, yeah so if you see that additional details here you can see the details description that we have selected under the details description. Now if you want to uh, put some custom uh, value you can put that like you can select that and then you can show that custom value. So in that way without touching that portal code you can just go and configure that and the person who is opening so let's say i am the open for uh, for me i can change this view uh, for different person i can change the view that is completely can be customizable you can understand that so that's it for today i hope this will be enjoyable uh, if you like my video please share uh, subscribe and hit my the bell icon on the uh, channel so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day